even of the remaining percent that do end up transgender, the transitioning and the surgery, it doesn't improve the suicide rate. From an empathetic standpoint, what is best for that kid? If we want to boil this down, if you don't want that child to die, yeah. if you don't want that child to kill himself, you don't give him hormone blockers. So let's move on to this. I, I, I really do want to. Yeah. The, the trans thing is everywhere right now, and, and this is something uh, that can affect everybody out yes, there. Yes. Uh, there was a court hearing this week about whether a seven-year-old boy, James Younger, uh, is going to be transitioned to a girl against the wishes of his father. Yeah. So I want to clarify. I want to set up the context here. His dad, Jeff Younger, he says that his son is a boy and identifies as one. But the mom, Anna, we'll call her Anne, sorry, she claims that the boy is a girl, calls him Luna. We'll get to her justification in just a minute. They've been fighting this battle for quite some time, and uh, I want you to watch this for yourself. Here's a clip of the boy, I believe at three years old, explaining the situation as the father discovered it. You're a boy, right? No. I'm a girl. Who told you you were a girl? Mommy. <clears throat> when did she tell you you were a girl? Because I love girls. Oh, I see. So mommy told you you were a girl? Uh-huh. Um, any, does mommy um, do anything else like with a girl with you? Mm-hmm. Like what? Like chesses. What, what does she do? She do comes in front of me. She puts dresses on you? Oh, wow. At first I thought I said Cheez-Its. I'd be like, your mom puts Cheez-Its on you? <laughs> <laughs> That's even weird. Yeah. Look at it. Did you hear what he just said? He said he, he said he loves girls. That boy's yeah, not yes. trans. He's a, he's a horn dog. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need Rat a horn scallion. replacement clinic. He needs a sex addiction clinic. <laughs> I love girls. What, oh. is that what you, how can you? It's like, I yeah. love girls. Trans? <laughs> yeah. No, no. I said I love girls. Tranny? You're tranny? You want to be a girl? No, I love girls. I want to honk them. Trans? <laughs> you want to be You honk? want honkers? <laughs> so on Tuesday, the jury ruled against the father, right. uh, forcing him... Uh, to raise the boy as a girl. Yeah. So I want to be clear of, uh, on this, and I think we also have an overlay later that uh, Court of Black Garrett can, can bring up of the mom using the child. But yeah. initially, the boy didn't just say he wanted to be a girl, right? That would be, right. boy says he wants to be a girl. Yeah, that's the mom using the boy for uh, advertising, advertising for yeah, her ad business. Advertising. Yeah, advertising for the business and then claiming that the father is starting a media yep. whirlwind right. yeah. while doing that pose purposes. in front of the pseudo like mid-90s Sears catalog background <laughs> yes. that you send out on Christmas cards. The boy didn't say, hey, I'm a girl. I was born in the wrong body. None of no, that. No. Namely because he doesn't have that vocabulary. But he did actually, what he identified as was he wanted to be Starfire, a female superhero from the cartoon Teen Titans Go. You know, yeah. you're more familiar I, with cartoons. You're I a nerd. kids, yeah. It's, it's a girl. Well, no, it's not for your kids. You know. So is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. What do you Who among us has not identified as a okay, cartoon? Okay, but I love it. Okay, so it's a girl. So he wanted to be a girl superhero. And an argument that's often used that's been accused of being a straw man, conservatives have said, you know, oh, my son said that he wanted to be Spider-Man. Thank yeah. God we didn't yeah. raise him as that. And people go, that's an absurd example to make. That's exactly what's <laughs> happening right here. Yeah. Think oh about this. Gosh. You are assuming and allowing a permanent sexually charged decision yeah. to be based on a kid's superhero fantasy. Let's be clear Lord. about this. This will affect the sex organs and the sexual abilities, capabilities yeah. of this child for the rest of his life because the mom wants to copy paste having a daughter on that boy. When yeah. I was a kid, I liked I liked the Black Ranger. Now my parents could have said, hey, he likes the Black Ranger because of his wisecracking, freewheeling attitude. It wouldn't have been appropriate to assume that I like him because I'm into hardcore interracial pornography. <laughs> <laughs> so the mom's other evidence uh, that this boy James is a girl includes him liking the movie Frozen right. and That's picking girl taste. toys at McDonald's. <laughs> so he watches Gosh. Frozen evidence. and he picks girl toys. You know what? I, I'm actually not that surprised, considering... I love girls. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's probably looking up the Happy Meal toy skirts and undressing Elsa with his eyes. Now, if he said, <laughs> if he said, I love boys, maybe he's a homo. But he didn't. He said, I love girls. Is there anything more natural than oh a, for gosh. a little boy to say, I love girls? Yeah. And, I mean, seven, at seven years old, I mean, come on. And, and legally, well, I've uh, got to imagine here, half-Asian Bill... What, how does that constitute evidence if someone brings forward? Well, he likes Frozen. He picks the girls' toys at McDonald's because that's what's being used here for the yeah. jury to say, yeah. well, you have to raise her as a girl. I mean, there's a whole, I mean, what we know from the reports of what happened at the trial, they had competing experts. They were presenting evidence like this back and forth and back and forth. They had, there was, uh, you know, other witnesses who were talking about the the uh, boy identifying as a boy, saying he's a boy, saying he wants to be yes. a boy, saying he wants to do boy things. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have these experts who essentially go in and say, well, you know, he didn't know what he was saying then, but he actually knows what he's saying. 
saying when he's saying these other things about being a girl, <laughs> right. but you heard that what he said in the video, which is right. his mother was telling him that he's a girl. And yeah. that's where ultimately the, the question comes down to, can you take these types of statements from a child who is seven, someone who's looking at toys, who's looking at other things and decide, okay, now we're going to permanently make this change and allow this change to happen. And that's the scariest part about it is because we don't have any statutory protections. Right. We don't have, yeah. the, no, no matter what happens, there's nothing that prevents you from giving your child hormone blockers right. or to be able to do these kinds of changes other than some doctor saying, this is going to hurt the right. kid mm -hmm. and and what we would see out of this is a dangerous precedent is to be able yep. to say that judges everywhere get to decide the well, medical the boy sometimes permanence. claims to be a boy sometimes he claims to be a girl we believe that he's confused so in the spirit of precaution uh cut off the cock. yeah <laughs> but yeah. please hit the notification bell uh if you're subscribed apparently subscriptions don't mean a whole lot notifications don't always work just bookmark the page there's yeah. a new video every yeah. single day uh at nine o'clock eastern Eight o'clock live stream Thursday and join Mug Club. Ladderscutter.com yeah, slash yeah. Mug Club because we don't make any money on YouTube. Any word on that yet? Not a peep. Okay. Uh, I'll of figure course. it out. Bye. I am a figment of your imagination. And I love girls. Also, uh, so let's go to this. The that was a good point that you were making there at Court of Black Hair. The, the, the kid is a boy with the dad and a girl with the mom. So it's not even yeah. consistent. So some witnesses have testified that James behaves like a, a girl yeah. when he's with his mom, but as a boy with his dad, and he's completely happy being a boy when he's with his dad. So if a mom Weird. puts her son in dresses, she paints his nails, and clearly wants him to behave as a girl, he will do that to please her. And I will tell you, this is very, very common for children, right? Yeah. You want to please your yeah. mother or your father. Anyway, <laughs> something else to go back to the court here. Uh, it, the ruling is based on fake signs. This is really important yeah. to note because a lot of people hear this story and people want to be nice. Everyone here wants to be nice. Of course. And yeah. you don't want to harm a child. And if you truly believe that this child has a female brain and was born in the wrong body and he's living in absolute agony, I understand. I think it's reasonable for people who aren't educated on this story to feel empathetic for a child, right. but it's based on a lie. Now, we've done an entire segment on the history of gender theory, how it's not based in real science. Uh, so go and watch that. I think we can actually put it up in a box here uh, and you can click that if you're unaware. Yeah. It goes through Simone de Beauvoir, the John Money studies, all the way up to Judith Butler. It's crazy. Um, yeah. But it's important to note that the court is forcing his father to raise uh, the son as a girl based on something that is not scientific. So right. a key component of gender dysphoria, by definition, is that it is, I want to make sure I get this right, clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. We don't see any of that with this boy. <laughs> all we have to go on is... I love girls. And that's a good thing, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Younger. Yes. Second, also important, the experts in this case uh, can't even get their own theories straight. So we've been told by gender, this is something that's, I'm amazed no one else has pointed this out. Doesn't mean that I'm some brilliant guy who caught it. I just think most people aren't looking at this very critically. Yeah. We've been told, and you can go to the change my minds that we've done, it's the common argument that gender studies professors, they, they, they hold this out there, for years, we've been told gender isn't biologically determined, it's socially right. constructed. That's the basis of yeah. modern feminism the whole thing. and modern gender theory, that gender and yeah. sex are different. That's what some of the experts have even testified on behalf of the mom. Okay, but then there are other experts in this very same case arguing the opposite. The boys counselor, wow. Rebecca Ur, I think is how it's pronounced, said, and I quote, that gender is in the brain and it's not that you think you are a girl, you are one. So wow. the lawyers argue wow. that the boys being transgender was predetermined biologically, so he can't choose to be a boy anymore, then he, he, it's just, he, he, just like a kid with Down syndrome, can't choose to not have Down syndrome. Right, yeah. But gender is supposed to be societally constructed. How can you have the wrong brain? Yeah. The studies, by the way, too, that claim that transgender people have different brains, we've talked about, it's been debunked. Some yeah. people have said this. Yeah. This is important to note, mm -hmm. right? Oh, well, there are different brains. No, there was a famous 2010 study. I think it was by, um, I think, I don't know if we have an overlay here, by Rometty. Yeah. And it seemed to demonstrate that there was a different brain, this whole different body theory. But the following year, other researchers, they conducted a far more extensive study, larger sample size, more rigorous mm -hmm. testing uh, protocols uh, to try and reproduce the results. Now, they did find some slight differences in transgender brains, but only after cross-hormone sex replacement therapy, not before. Oh my God. The most reliable studies we have show us there is no wrong brain in the wrong body, but you fundamentally alter the brain when you switch out hormones. So here's something also really important to note. The, the, the counselor, Rebecca Ur, she's of the, uh, the Gene CIS clinic. She's the founder 
of Dallas Rainbow Counseling oh. Oh. and is a oh. radical <laughs> far leftist. So I want to be clear that yeah. you understand, lest you think, well, she's a scientist. She's retweeted yes. claims that if your therapist <laughs> tries to convince you not to transition, that's the same thing as conversion therapy. What? Wow. Yeah. Wow. And her counsel, it seems to me almost the, huh? w- more comparable to conversion therapy would be converting the kid as you yeah. want to do. Oh my yeah. Gosh. <laughs> You want to yeah. change what's under the hood for crying out yeah. loud. I mean, that's all irreparable. Yeah, that's like changing a transmission. You have to get it on one of those things with the chains, Cherry which picker. you're probably also t- into. I don't know. At least a hammock. <laughs> I think it's a different apparatus. And her, her website contains long <laughs> anti Trump uh, rants about the election. So, do we really think that she's going to be counseling a boy to be a straight white male? That's all yeah, that is evil in no. her world. And if, if you claim, this is one thing too, if you claim that there is secretly gender coded whatever DNA I guess in the because you're not even defining right, it yeah. but there's some kind of gender that is encoded into the brain we're not saying sex now that's right, important because right. it used to be sex is different right. from gender sex is biological gender is a social construct that that wouldn't hold water this boy would not be raised as a girl no. if that were the argument presented now they're saying gender is biological so if if a gender is secretly coded in the brain here's what I ask any evidence any evidence, please send it to me, comment below. If there is any evidence that gender is a brain issue that's already predetermined at birth, I would like to just, we're kind of yeah. going back yeah. now with Miley Cyrus. Yeah. You can choose not to be yes. gay. You can, you can just, you, but you can't control your, I'm sorry, I'm so confused now, I don't yeah. even know what to say. I'm not sure which I am confused. Wait, trust. gender, sex, uh, sexual preference? I don't know. Can we just call it perversion? <laughs> yeah, let's just go back to that. I think it really is time to do that. Can I say it all. Yeah. Am I allowed to say perversion? Yes, you are cutting, allowed to cutting, say perversion. Cutting off your dick. <laughs> at seven. Is kind of perverse. <laughs> if we're just this case, it would be really sad. But yes. it doesn't affect just this one kid. It no. will affect thousands of children if this becomes established. Yeah. Like we talked about with the appeal, if it sets a precedent. It'll, it will establish a legal way to deal with kids who merely mention that they would like to be a female cartoon character, or in this case, that they like that they love girls. <laughs> and, and by the way, it's literally a life and death battle. Let's yeah. be really clear here while we're trying to, while you guys are trying to play the whole empathetic card, why can't we just be nice and use the proper pronouns? As we've mentioned before, if you don't transition children, 75 to 90 percent of them with gender dysphoria completely grow out of it. Huh. 75 to 90 percent. Significant. And, and, and by the way, that's for kids who actually have gender dysphoria. All, all we have to go on here is. I love girls. So I, you know, that's mm. not necessarily a case study. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. Now, when you look at those who undergo puberty blockers, right? That number of kids who grow out of dysphoria it drops to zero percent. Ooh. So without puberty blockers, without the parents making the decision to block their hormones, 75 to 90 percent, no longer transgender. Yeah. Start giving them the drugs at that point where I believe they don't have the age of consent. They're not able to consent to those drugs. No. It drops to zero. And we do know that once they're locked into that identity, children are 19 times more likely to commit suicide than the general population. Yeah. Now, I wow. want to be really clear about something here because I've heard some people argue that tra- transgenders already have the same suicide rate before surgery, which is partially true. It doesn't get much better after surgery. I think it's a 41 percent attempted yeah. suicide rate. It, remains about the same after surgery, but keep in mind, we know that 70 to 90% of these kids don't end up being transgender. So 70 to 90% of these kids wouldn't end up in that suicide demographic no matter what, pre or post surgery. Even of the remaining percent that do end up transgender, the transitioning and the surgery, it doesn't improve the suicide rate. From an empathetic standpoint, what is best for that kid? If we want to boil this down, if you don't want that child to die, if you don't want that child to kill himself, you don't give him hormone blockers, period. That's it. Where do we draw the line here? Let me ask this, what about anorexia? Yeah. Okay, this is, this is a delusional disorder where you see yourself as, a, as fat when you're not, right? It's a delusional disorder yeah. when we're talking about transgenders and they see themselves as a different sex or gender. I don't even know how to keep track of it. So what do we do? We say, well, you have to treat this child as though he's a girl. Do you have to deal with your child as though they're fat if they see themselves as fat and they have an eating disorder? They're really, really unhappy with themselves. So they want to be anorexic or they want to be bulimic or they want to go on the, the, in this case, I guess the father would say, no, you're beautiful the way you are. Again, the father who we've labeled as a neo-Nazi white supremacist, just like Daily Caller, according to AOC, he would probably say, yeah. you're beautiful the way you are. What a dick. But the mother would be putting her on the lemon cayenne maple syrup diet so she could lose yeah. weight. <laughs> That's a thing. It really is unbelievable. It's, here's the truth. It's evil. 
on behalf of the parents, and it's predatory. The nature of progressive is to progress towards something. Doesn't matter what it is. It wasn't enough for marriage to be declared a fundamental human right for anyone yeah. who wanted to do it. So then it's done. They have to progress to ensure that men can take dumps in the women's restrooms. That wasn't enough. Yeah. So then they progress to allow men to compete in women's sports and shatter all the records. That wasn't enough. And so they had to progress to allowing self-identified transgender children to undergo permanent life-altering hormone replacement therapy. And that wasn't enough. So now they want to allow the same toxic, life-altering transition to kids who aren't even transgender but play make-believe as a famous female cartoon superhero. All of this because... I love girls. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box uh, up there and hit subscribe or the notification bell if you're already subscribed so you can find out about our new uh, non-controversial videos, which don't ruffle any feathers and, of course, are not a violation of YouTube's algorithms. <laughs> Everyone's welcome here, <laughs> except I don't know if we are, but it's our channel. Uh, I'm not sure how that works.